Welcome back to the channel, Gundam fan, and today is the final video for the Wing Zero. As you can see, it's complete. It's been a labour of love. Um, it's not been smooth um, experience. It's taken five months, um, broken pieces, uh, frustrations, um, just disappointments in, in certain areas. But here it is. Um, stick around to the end of the chat because I'll be doing a little montage video um, I've just taken some uh, b-roll footage and stuff like that so I thought I'd throw that in at the end and get all the uh, the talking nonsense out of the way um, but what what I like most about the kit is the overall the overall aesthetic the look the presence it has to be honest it blew me away um, but in terms of painting the kit, oh man, it's got so many pitfalls. Um, the post in the back of the wing has broke, so I had to port that, um, post that. And the hips broke uh, because I painted them like an idiot. Everything else has been was masked up, but I forgot them pieces. Went to turn the hip and it snapped off. Thanks to Mecha Guy, part Mecha Guy Parts over in the States, he sent me over a couple of, of hip replacements um, at a bit of a additional cost, um, but it fixed the, the issue, no problems, and it's super fast shipping as well, it took about a week. Um, the guns, uh, the Buster Rifle, sorry, uh, posing them in that, that pose, that pose, um, I've taken an image, but it's a faux image because uh, obviously because it's a painted kit um, I really really struggled to actually get the hands um, in place um, Or clicked in because as you can see I've got the hands attached ready to go um, But it was really really difficult to get the the wrists uh, even with the, uh, the, the mechanics in the chest for the the butterfly um, action so you can get the wrist together it was really difficult if it wasn't a painted kit I'd be you know you, you can stress it until you get it in the right area without any worries of scratching plastic and and so on um, uh, scratching the paint even sorry uh, the rest of it uh, flew together um, it was fine I uh, did some scribing in the legs and the, the chest uh, the, the waist pieces there um, I decided to, to blend some of the uh, ingredients, some of the blues, um, to imitate some sort of like light, light and shade. Um, I pinched a uh, Sazabi uh, beam saver <laughs> for that piece because I kind of like yeah, what I did with the effect um, and it kind of looks pretty cool. I don't even know where the original ones are. Um, I used uh, a stand that I'd already like, painted up, even though it does come with an action stand. I just run out of time, I just couldn't be bothered. But it's there if I need it uh, in future for future builds. So it does come with a stand, which is really, really cool. Um, unfortunately, I'm not able to do any sort of rotisserie shots or anything like that because I've got him in a pose that's really well balanced and if I do any sort of turning and stuff, I fear it falling over and, and something breaking and I don't want that. You know, uh, five months in, I'm doing some sort of risk risk assessment every, every time I look at the guy, I think, <laughs> please don't fall over, please don't break something, please don't go wrong because it's at that point right now, I just want to move on and get another kit done. Um, Katoki's work uh, is awesome and you know, it's not to be stiffed at, but it is for those people. If you want to paint this kit, you've got to take your time, you've got to know what you're doing and any mistakes is going to be costly because it is very delicate in areas. Um, tolerances are pretty spot on, uh, so any additional paint can really, um, really add problems down the line. So you've got, you've got to consider that. Um, the DL, DL decals, so the DL decals that I put on are pretty solid. Um, but the ones come off the shin there. Uh, I don't know how, probably under handling or before I put the mat coat on. 
Um, so what I'm going to do is they're pretty. That's a pretty pretty generic one. Um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be one lying around um, that I can pinch from another set and uh, whack it on there and, and sort that out. Um, that's it, guys. You know, thanks for the journey. Thanks for joining me, and thanks for popping along. Um, you know, it, all the support and stuff spurs me on because oh, I am still battling some depression. I think because there's some parts of me that just thinks, you know what, well, I'm I'm done, I'm fed up, I'm bored. Uh, but I'm not at the same time, I'm really, really balls deep into Gunpla and I really want to carry on, but it's it's that fighting that, that, that juggling act of, of your mind playing tricks on you, man. So I really, really appreciate all the support, everyone that's uh, shown, shown love and uh, interest in, in the channel and into the kits that I produce. Um, and it just keeps keeps me going. Um, you know, all the kind remarks and stuff on Twitter and, and everyone that, 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 that um, interacts with me. I really, really appreciate you guys. Um, it keeps me going. Um, I'm not the best photographer. I'm not the best video photographer. Um, unfortunately, I don't have one of those moving cameras. So as I'm talking, you can you can see, uh, you can see it from different angles and stuff like that. I just don't have the money. Um, but there, there it is. There's the, the Wing Zero uh, in all its glory. Um, the shield does uh, obviously transform. I haven't taken any pictures of it in um, the inner atmosphere and outer atmosphere modes uh, due to I don't want to scratch paint or, or chip paint or anything like that. So, but you've seen it all before. You know what it does. Um, I painted this kit purely for a stoic pose. Um, I was going to do a kneeling pose holding the Buster Cannons, um, but again, um, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't just, ha I'm not happy like fiddling with this guy too much. Um, any model maker will, will, will let you know that that's just generally a bad idea. And, uh, you know, do the le least amount of uh, fiddling with your, with your kits. Fiddling is probably the wrong word. Um, but yeah. It's, I've got all options to do whatever I want with it, but I just want to just have him standing there looking stoic and, and just awesome. Uh, so all the rest of the pieces are going to go back in the box, um, just in case I ever want to sell him uh, down the line, all the pieces are there and whoever receives it um, can, can do whatever they want with it. But for now, uh, at least, it's, it's ready for shelf and um, I'm really happy with it, 99% happy anyway. Uh, my mistakes that have, you know, compromised the kit in certain areas. That's that's, that's, that's down to you know, human error and just trying to rush it in areas and I've made the mistakes. So even taking five months to do uh, because of work and, you know, life constraints and stuff like that, it's, sometimes you get back into it and you think, oh, right, okay, I've got to get this out, I've got to get this out. And, um, you know, you can rush and mistakes happen. So. I'm going to try and take my time and be a little bit more patient with with the rest of the team. Um, probably um, the, the heavy arms that I said was going to be next. Uh, I've changed my mind. I'm, I'm working on the sand drop now um, because I've gone from one intricate kit with lots of pieces. I wanted to go to um, take a step back and do a basic kit because the sand drop essentially isn't as intricate, hasn't got many moving parts, so on and so on. So I can probably get that out quicker. Uh, whereas I think the heavy arms has got equal to probably the same amount of parts and finicky little bits and stuff and finer details. So, you know, it's, it's going to take a little bit of time. So I want to try and get that, the sound drop done next. Um, I'm doing some scribing on that now. But anyway, without waffling on, um, I'm going to leave it now. I really, really appreciate you guys, and thanks. Uh, if you got this far, please consider subscribing to the channel for more content and enables me to bring you more kits and more more work, more highlights, box unboxings, reviews, and so on. And if you hit the thumbs up, it will let me know that you like the video, and I'll continue to bring more content like this. Also, if you follow me on Twitter, uh, the links are in the description below. Um, it'll be your best way to contact me um, and to join the, the Gundam community if you're not already. Um, there's loads of us, like, like hundreds of thousands of <laughs> Gundam fans out there. And, you know, we're, we're all into this, this same journey of Gundam together moving forward. 
And yeah, without further ado, I'm going to leave it now and I'm going to leave you with all the B-roll nonsense that I just did. There may be a little bit of music. Okay, cheers, guys. Thank you.